Today, I am going to be building some of the most popular movies in LEGO from childhood classics to iconic cinema. With that said, LEGO. Growing up, I loved movies, but no movie was better than Toy Story. In fact, the first movie I ever saw in theaters was Toy Story 3. And no, I totally wasn't crying hysterically when they were all about to get incinerated. So like any rational person, I decided to recreate the traumatic childhood experience in Lego. So I went on the internet and scoured it for this disturbing Lego set. Well, oh, that's not an awful price. And after five days of waiting, it was in the mail. It came! It finally came! This thing comes with a dirty woody. Bro, what are these hot dog arms? Baba Booey. It comes with some green aliens, dirty ham, definitely not kosher. And finally, it comes with a dirty bear. Probably better than cocaine bear. The build for this brought back some traumatic memories, so I thought I could make it into a Lego commercial. Build the new Lego trash compactor. Load the shovel. Fill the toys. And roll your beloved childhood character into the incinerator. Part of the new Ruin Your Childhood collection in Lego City. Oh shoot, this thing comes with the claw? The claw. Oh, it's okay. It can only fit like one guy, so I guess everyone else is just gonna burn and die. I believe they made this a new Lego set. All right, I think I found the next set. Looks like we're gonna be going back to a movie I was not allowed to see as a kid, and this is Jurassic Park. A movie about dinosaurs. Roar, roar. What's so scary about those guys? Anyway, let's open it up. This thing came with two cars and, wait, what happened to this one? Oh my gosh, it's wreaking havoc. It flattened that car. What is it gonna do next? Ah, run for cover. Oh, my child. No, your mom. Who can stop him? I got you, dinosaur. Yeehaw, little doggy. Hey, good job, Florida man. You're welcome. Now let go to our next set. Quickest one, Fast and Furious. Let's go. I wanna do something with cars. Let's see what we can find. Looks like they have this one from the Fast and Furious movies. Let's go get it. Only thing that matters is who's behind the wheel. So this car is the Skyline, and it's driven by a guy named Paul Walker. Sound like anyone else we know. They also did this Charger set with Vin Diesel I used in my Walmart set a while back. And honestly, I haven't seen this movie. So I'm gonna build some cars from a movie I'm more familiar with. Mainly from the movie, Cars. Let's find one. Ooh, the Florida 500? I know who will like that one. Cop by now. Okay guys, I love this set. It comes with my childhood hero, Lightning McQueen, and Luigi, and uh, whoever these guys are. But most importantly, Mac, who is definitely a Florida truck. Bro, even as a trucker's hat. As a truck. Actually, I changed my mind. Tomater's definitely a true Florida man. I mean, car. Morning, sleeping beauty. Ah. Speaking of cars, let's build a bigger one. That is also a time machine. From the movie, Back to the Future. Nothing but a little chicken. Bruh. But I can't do that without Marty McFly and Doc Brown. They're the main characters from the movie, by the way. Great Scott! Let's go back to the future and build them up. Back to the future! Well, that was a timely build, and it can actually do a lot of things like open doors, change license plates, and even has the ability to make its appearance from all three movies. By far the best thing about this is how it doesn't come with roads. A clear call out to the portion of the movie where he's like, Where we're going, we don't need roads. Did I mention this thing could also fly? Oh. <sighs> Guess we gotta go back in time and reverse that. What? No way. So far we've gone back in time, then we've gone forward in a car, but you know where we haven't gone? Up. Uh, sad. Lucky for me, I just found a set based on the movie. A movie that kind of starts on a down note. But I will admit, this set is kind of depressing. I mean, this little Cub Scout and the dog are cute, don't get me wrong, but the rest of this thing is just awful. In fact, this set is so depressing, I'm gonna start a depression counter for all the depressing things in it. The money jar they were supposed to go to Paradise Falls with. Three pictures of his dead wife. A chair with no one there. Another picture of his dead wife in his room. A book of their life's adventures. A book of the adventures they were supposed to have but didn't. And the pin his wife gave to him. Dang, this is a sad Lego set. Are you okay, Carl? <laughs> Speaking of dead relatives, next up is the Batman, whose parents are also dead. Put on an animal mask and beat up the poor people. Anyway, I copped this bad boy, the Batmobile, and it's pretty lit, not gonna lie. Unlike that movie. Seriously, why does he fight corruption and then feel bad for fighting corruption? Can somebody explain that to me? Bruh. But the set's pretty fun. Anyway, let's build it. This thing's pretty fun, actually. It came with the penguin who looks nothing like an actual penguin. And probably the coolest engine I've ever seen on a Lego set. Also, it could shoot people who Rick Rollio. 
when the rent in Gotham is $10 a month. Stop it right there, Joker! You'll never get me, Batman! <laughs> Will you catch that mother- Moving on, I never thought LEGO would go this far again, with one of the most epic movies of all time, Indiana Jones. I even got this nice little car set with Indy, his dad, and a 1940s German war criminal. Wait, what? Bro, wait, and his plane comes in this? This came out in 2023, and there are children playing with it in the ad, oh my goodness. This is not even an 18 plus set. Dang, I thought Lego was done with this face. Anyway, this set has one main flaw and that it's kind of built to fall apart. Oh wait, that's intentional. That's kind of nice. In all seriousness though, this recreates a really fun scene from the movie. Uh, Kanye, w what are you doing in there? I know we're talking about bad guys, but there's one more bad guy we have to cover and his name rhymes with poo. I sit on the toilet, what? <laughs> yeah, it's Gru. And I found this set on eBay, the unstoppable bike chase from the movie Minions, The Rise of Gru, a true piece of cinema. Anyway, let's build. Okay, I love this set. We got Gru, Stuart, and King Bob. But wait, where are the bananas? Oh no, the ghosts are getting away with them. Who are we gonna call? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> this thing is used to hunt ghosts and has some pretty cool details. It has opening doors, an ejector seat, and it can even poop out a little probe. Now we have to make sure it captures the ghost. Go get him! No get him! Go get him! Save the banana! Wait, deploy the probe! And we captured the ghost and got the minions their banana. Banana! Now this was a really fun video to make and I got to experiment with a bunch of different Lego themes. So if you like this video, then definitely check out this one where I go into all my favorite TV shows in Lego. And check out this one where I make the biggest Lego Star Wars battle of all time. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out and stay awesome. You'll never get me, Batman! <laughs> Baba Bowie, Baba Bowie. <laughs>